It is Cozy Grove Day 71. I'm hoping I actually timed when I started talking right today. We'll see though. <laughs> but uh, it has been a busy, busy day for me. I've been running around. I actually got home not that long ago. And I've been kind of just trying to catch up on some work. And I finally am at the point where I'm like almost caught up with everything that I need to do. I am uh, prepared for Father's Day, which is a big event in our household. We have a number of fathers to purchase for. So um, for those of you who maybe still need to purchase, Father's Day is Sunday. So just make sure that you're ready. Um, okay, let's just see what we've got here. I'm just going to grab some of the staples because I'm sure somebody is going to want something. Let's see what they want today, though. I know somebody wants a nut flower already. I saw that. We do have one of these. Um, I did say, see somebody wants a churro, which is good. And then um, I, think, I think those. We'll take those as well, just in case. Um... I don't think I have the right salad for you. I'm just gonna pet you. But I know that I've got something for you. Common log. <laughs> that dang common log. It was getting in my way. So my friend Bimo just raided my husband's stream block. And he just said the sweetest things. It made me so happy. But um, he's just the nicest guy. So I would definitely recommend that if you're watching and you're interested in somebody else that has an interest in kind of the same cozy games that we play here, that um, you also check out the only Bemo. He is uh, playing, right now he was playing It Takes Two with his fiance and uh, oh gosh, it, it looks like a lot of fun. I feel really bad though because I'm constantly either working or driving or doing something when he's playing <laughs> and I always want to watch it and I catch little bits and pieces but I need to like just sit and binge watch it I think. Oops. Let's get this. Alright. We have some fruit for you. I guess you can have it because you're pretty cute. My feeding priority is based on cuteness. <laughs> uh, the cuter animals get fed the treats before the the uh, less cute animals. I just noticed my pink deer has a hunchback. So I do have a hunchback deer. But you know what? When his uh, gigantic beard comes in, then I know. I think it's going to cover it. and He'll look just smashing. Watch. It'll be okay. He's going to grow into it. His beard will cover that hunchback. Oh, I should have fed that bird, actually. If I had been smart, I would have fed that bird. Leveled him up. Oops. So if you are watching, I hope you had a good day today. And um, definitely was a good day here. We had, um, oh, let's do this. So, <laughs> you ever just feel like sitting back and watching the waves? I'd do it all the time if I could. Yeah, you run around so much. I wouldn't think you could sit still. That's true in real life, too. It's good to sit quietly with yourself now and then. But lately, I've been thinking it might be nice to watch the ocean with someone again, too. Not another bear, I don't think. I'm not ready for that. Captain Featherbrain came by the other day offering to help wax my board for me. As though I couldn't handle it myself. And of course he wouldn't take no for an answer. I ended up having to swim away just to get some peace. I hate bears like that. But there are other creatures on this island. Some of them must enjoy sitting on the beach as much as I do, right? Ooh. Oh, no. A mature deer. Oh, I know! Aren't they adorable, Bimo? They were on sale yesterday. And um, 
when I saw the the one gal we raided wearing them, I was like, oh my gosh, they're adorable. And they came on sale and I was like, absolutely, I have to wear them. They are now mine. Well, let's see. Did we donate those? We did. I know. They're super cute. And I'm like, it totally fits me because I feel like a little... I'm an old stubborn goat now. <laughs> and even my bug eye glasses, look, my eyes are shifting back and forth, but um, my little bug eye glasses, I feel like it's old people twitch. See, I'm a stubborn old goat <laughs> with my big bug eye glasses. <laughs> it's not very funny, but you know, <laughs> a lot of my jokes aren't. I was like thinking about what I would do for like mirror rewards for my points and I was like, what if I told jokes? And then I was like, no, nobody wants my jokes. My jokes are terrible. I have some really good, terrible jokes, though. Like, um, okay, I'll give you a favorite. And it's what's brown and sticky. I'll give you a second to think about it. But the answer is a stick. <laughs> it's pretty terrible. <laughs> Oh gosh. I have lots of little gems that are just like that. Let's see, our good friend Allison. Oop, she needs some help today. Can I help you with something? The spirit smiles. She wants some food today. Here you are, my dear. You can have whatever you want. Let's give you, actually, I don't want to give you that. I'll give you some mushrooms. The spirit is filled with the happy memories you shared. Ooh, that was some good stuff. Let's see. Uh, crafting a townhouse. Let's learn that. We've gotten a lot of little town homes and that kind of thing, little houses. I'm kind of wondering what I'm going to do with all of them. Make a little village, I guess. Um, one of the things that I did in Animal Crossing was my favorite thing that I had done. And it was not my idea, so I can't take credit for that. But I made a little village off the top of one of my cliff sides um, where I took the doll houses and set them up in a way. And I actually um, took some little flower patterns for the ground and I painted them down and I planted some green uh, mums like they were trees. And I made this little like river with a pond next to them and I used the Hello Kitty um, little pond bridge for the Cro 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 -pie. I feel silly saying that, but yes. Um, and I, I set it all up so that when you were looking down on it, it looked like you were looking down from a great distance. And I love it. It's like my favorite spot in my whole entire island. <laughs> Only amateur rock enthusiasts talk about jade. There are two actually, are actually two different minerals called that, jadeite and nephrite. Nephrite is rarer. It's a silicate made, or silicate of magnesium and calcium. Jadeite is a silicate of sodium and aluminum. But even you probably already knew that, right? I'm going to pretend like I did. <laughs> sure, Ted. I knew because I watched Sailor Moon once upon a time. All right. How are you doing, Clyde? This morning I sold the lawn in front of City Hall for three times market value. Business is good. You know... I started out so awkward. Hairy kid, sad eyes, big teeth, voted most likely to die alone. That's horrible. They never imagined what I could achieve with big picture thinking. And now look at me, money hand over fist. And hey, look at you, a partner in a highly lucrative real estate venture. Most likely to die alone, ha! They're eating their words now. Right, partner? Uh. Right. This has been fun, but I have a couple helicopters to buy. Talk soon. <laughs> hey, we advanced a story at least. I hope you, you know what? 
he needs to like get his Grinch heart taken care of. He's got a little Grinch heart right now and he just needs to learn how to love and it's gonna burst through just like the Grinch. Let's see. Can we help you, Lee Berry? Aw, oh, heck. I'm running low on animal feed again. I don't want my babies to go hungry. Can you help me out? Aw. Oh. Speaking of, I got to play with little baby kitties today. It was amazing. Let's see. We're gonna give him some mushrooms because apparently we have two stacks of those. Here you are. Oh, wait. I'm so sorry. There. Fruit. That should hit the spot for my little fur babies. Thanks. They are so cute. But um, there's two little kitties. I volunteer at the Humane Society on Thursdays. And so I went there today. And oh my goodness, it is cat season. Let me just say, there were so many cats. It took almost my whole shift just to clean all the litter boxes. But um, did that item say hoity-toity? Let's see. Which item? Hoity-toity. I don't know. Maybe... It might have said hoity-toity. I don't know which item it was mindless, but if you let me know, I'll check it. Um, <laughs> so, there's these little kittens there, and they're so... Oh, it was the one you selected before talking to Corm Bear. Oh, shoot. Mindless, if you're talking like two seconds ago, then... <laughs> that is beyond my memory! I have the memory of a uh, goldfish here. I'm like, shoot, what did I do? All right, let's see. Um, was it the item that I learned, the recipe? I didn't sell anything to him, but th I think there was a recipe that I was learning, so I'll go check it really quick. But let me check and see what he's selling. Hang on, I gotta let my little, my little poopsie. My little, uh, I've got a little, little dog. <laughs> Let's see, we've got a young moon deer, a young spectral bird, a young spirit deer, and a young ornate deer. Let's go see really quick. I think I learned a recipe. Let's see. Oops. Sorry, guys. Oh, darn it, Jeremy. I was running right past you. Um, was it this? For cozy green spaces and bustling towns. Hmm. Shoot. You know, I wonder if it was maybe... Do we have some in here? We may not have any more. I'm going to be on the search for the hoity-toity. A tart jam sold to tourists so they can gift it to people who don't even like jam. <laughs> that sounds accurate. Um, it was probably the jam, though. Let's see. I'm on a mission now, mindless. I'm going to find out really quick. I want to bake something. Here we go. Uh, yes, it is. A natural sweetener, palatable to even the most hoity-toity ghosts. <laughs> So there you go. You were absolutely 100% correct. You caught the hoity-toity. <laughs> oh, goodness. They are really funny. I should spend more time reading them. I used to read a lot of them. But uh, I think that just because, you know, after a while you kind of read quite a few of them. And then you're like, you don't pay as much attention. But I really should because they are funny. I really like, um, well, you know, there's just a lot of, there's a lot in this game. I like it. Even Ted is giving me, you know, I'm wanting to say geology. I think it is geology. I'm terrible at words like that, but geology lessons. And I'm like, with my nephrite and my jadeite, and I'm like, yeah, now I know. At least I'll know if I go back and watch that again. I'll know which one is which. Okay, hang on. I think we need to give him one of our pro deer. So we have to decide who gets the cut. Um, who's the unhappiest? This one's pretty unhappy. <clears throat> this one's okay. Oh, 
Oh, dang it. Oh, okay. Thank you for getting off that planter. He's really happy. He's really happy. And, oh, I gotta find that. He's really happy, so I think Rhino Deer gets the cut. Rhino Deer is gonna have to go live with Octavia now on the beach. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> he looks like a rhino pony. A mature spirit deer. Here you are, Octavia. An etheric ungulate, her ungulate. Is there more to life than mere existence? The bonds you build with others are the source of all true magic. <laughs> That was a mouthful. Is that a deer? Cute, right? Super cute. You brought this critter for me, huh? Because I said I wanted someone to watch the waves with? Sweetie, you're too much for me sometimes. What do you say, little fella? Want to dig up some clams with me? <laughs> I don't know if he's going to want it, but you know, who knows? He was pretty picky. I think he wants some fruit salad. Okay. Let's see how many logs. I think, I, I kind of think tomorrow or the next day is gonna be the day. Yep, eight more logs. Okay, let's see how close we get. That'll give us a good idea if it's gonna be tomorrow that we find our new friend or not. Okay, Captain is good. Can we turn that in? Yes, I have turned in the helmet. Only because I remember reading about the reticulated helmet. Let's see. My daughter and I have, um, we have mommy-daughter dates every once in a while. We don't do them too often because they get very expensive. But we went out all day and we we went shopping. We went to the pet store because we had to go buy stuff. But we also like to go look at the animals. And then we went to um, Target, which was like a two and a half hour trip, which was way more shopping than I normally do. But we we had a good time. Many drinks were had. <laughs> Can I help you with something? The spirit smiles. She wants her coffee. Okay, money scale. Well, we know where that is. <clears throat> we had to go try the new, I think it's a strawberry funnel cake, uh, Frappuccino at Starbucks. And I have to be honest, yeah, it was two and a half hours in Target. We spent a long time there. But um, the strawberry funnel cake, I didn't, I didn't like it. It was kind of gross. It was a weird flavor. I don't think that strawberry funnel cake and coffee go well together. It just tastes like a weird mishmash of flavor. It tastes like an Allison creation. <laughs> I'm sure it tasted that. Well, I know for a certain it tasted that bad. It was pretty bad. Um, we were doing some shopping for new clothes because um, my child grows like a weed and she tends to grow like we end up buying back to school clothes and then right around like November she has like a big growth spurt um, and then right around May to June she has another growth spurt and that just has been traditionally when she grows like she has these big spurts uh it's okay but it's so long for them to make the breeze oh yeah oh yeah yeah two and a half hours just in target <laughs> um you know i oh no i would never drive two and a half hours to get to target that i'm not a shopping kind of person if i'm perfectly honest i'm like the most um anti 
shopping kind of person you'll ever meet. I'm like, no, if I have to go shopping in more than one place, I'm, I'm irritated. <laughs> um, I would not do that. I know my sister would do that. My sister is the kind of person who would drive two and a half hours to go to like some place like Gymboree or something. And I'm like, nope, I could go somewhere a lot closer and get clothes just as cute. So that's not gonna happen. I hate driving. Ooh, that's a new one. Let's go donate. Okay. I think that's the only one. There we go. Thank you. 57 out of 361. We're making progress. <laughs> Oh gosh, we're gonna be working on that forever. All right, can I help you with something? One of my oaks has been complaining about how commonplace she feels in this forest. Could you get her some blue leaves? I sure can. Behind a house, okay. Oh, Patrice, can we help you? We're gonna talk to you. Hey there, letter legend. Have you checked your mailbox yet today? You never know what might be in there. I already know it's in there, Patrice. I'm not checking it. <laughs> oh, let's catch this guy. Oh, this is the problem when you hit E instead of like clicking on things. You just randomly start doing whatever the heck she wants to do. That was a big chunk for that little tiny piece of ore. Ooh, a silver bristle mouth. It was only like 30 minutes. Well, you know what? I feel like BMO, um, yeah, I know my daughter is neglecting hers as well, mindless, so don't feel bad. Um, <laughs> Oh no, you only need one log. Do you know who you're going to unlock next? I am. I'm kind of excited to see who the next person is. It's going to be one of the Barrow Spares. But I have a suspicion that the very last bear is going to be Barrows himself. I have no idea what King Barrows is going to be like. I'm kind of hoping they all have like slightly different personalities. I hope they're not all like uh, the Pius of Grizz here or Pius of Grizz. Uh, oh, yeah, you have to just earn those randomly. I've got one now that's burnt and I don't know what that means yet. It's still in my inventory. But I hope you get it soon, Bimo. That's so frustrating. Especially when you know you only need one log left. Oops. Let's see. Where are we going? Oh, my daughter tried at um, Starbucks. I think it was called Dragon Juice. And um, it was like a dragonberry coconut milk kind of juice drink. And it was so good. It was really good. I would get that again. And you also got stickers, she said. She got some stickers. <clears throat> it's never a trip. If we go shopping for anybody else and she's there, there's always at least like $20 worth of stuff that goes into the cart just for her because I'm a sucker. The dragon drink is so good, mindless. It was really good. I had wished I'd gotten that instead of the frappuccino. Um, but we saw it and we were like, oh man, we gotta try that. I had never tried it before. 
she wanted it just because it was pretty and it was uh oh let me just make sure somebody's calling me oh that's okay i will call them back um we don't go to starbucks very often yes the pink color is amazing yes you have been to starbucks before ding ding she doesn't remember we don't that's how infrequently we go we have a place called dutch brothers here i don't know if they're over on the east coast they might be more of a local chain but oh my gosh they are amazing i think dutch brothers is probably my favorite they just have a nice smooth flavor to their coffee i am like a coffee addict i have these um, cups. <laughs> my husband calls them my fish bowls. <laughs> um, Dutch Brothers is really good, BMO. If you ever get a chance to try it, I mean, I feel like on some level, all of them are really good. It's not like you're going to be like, going to have a cup of coffee that's going to change your life for the rest of your life as you know it. But it is good. You'll enjoy it. Um, there's another one that's local that's kind of a small one. Oh gosh, what is it called? Oh gosh, it's got like a funky kind of a name. Oh, I'll remember it. I don't go there very often. But, um, oh, what is it? That's going to drive me nuts. Um, but anyway, they make milkshakes as well there. It's like you get that, um, you know, Hand dipped ice cream and then they make the milkshakes out of it and they make one that's called a white cow mocha where it's like um it's coffee on top of vanilla ice cream and it makes almost like a milkshake oh my gosh it is so good <laughs> it's so good it's so bad for you but so good I used to love getting coffee floats from there as well, which is kind of the same concept, only it's not uh, blended. The ones that they do as a milkshake, they kind of blend differently. But for a coffee float, yes, Brood Awakenings, <gasps> yes, Mindless, how did you know? Did you just Google it? You know what? If you just Googled that and you found that out, then you need to be an underwriter because you'd be amazing at it. <laughs> for many, many years, I was an underwriter for insurance and you become like an internet sleuth. It's kind of fun. <laughs> it is really good. It was my mom's favorite place to go. And so, um, uh, my mom and my my daughter's grandmother uh, from her father's side they would meet up at the um, airport and that was the first place because her grandmother is from England so she'd come to visit every once in a while and my mom would go pick her up and then um, she would have her white cow mocha and she would have it down like with you know in just minutes she'd have it finished after they purchased it <laughs> you know <laughs> you may actually like it I'm just saying it you know you may really I feel like you'd be good at it it sounds like a really boring job but being an underwriter was probably the most fun job I ever did you get to really like well actually I take that back it really has a lot of hard points where you have to be the bad guy and you have to like stand firm on your stance and it it makes people unhappy but I actually got really 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 good at finding compromises for people coyote coffee I love frozen coffees I love coffee shakes I love coffee and ice cream I love coffee ice cream I just love I love everything that tastes delicious <laughs> um, and unfortunately my thighs show it but you know whatever oh come on what is going on oh my inventory is full let's see what we got here let's empty this inventory K 
caribou coffee? I've never heard of caribou coffee. Is that a coffee stand? We have one called Black Rock Coffee that I haven't tried yet, but I know a lot of people really like them. Oh, yeah, Paul was telling me you guys are pretty close to Atlanta. My husband is a huge Atlanta Falcons fan. That is like his football team. It's been his football team his whole entire life. He actually, um, he has like this little competition where I guess they used to be part of a, I don't really know how football works, I'll be perfectly honest, but they were part of a, a different division. And so they would all like fight against each other. Um, and so it's something where um, they all picked a competing team to see whose team would win. And so my husband picked the Atlanta Falcons and he ended up being a lifelong fan. So one of these days we're going to have to go to Atlanta and probably watch football. So I'm going to have to make sure my phone is charged, but don't tell him. <laughs> He always tells me, no, you're going to enjoy it. And I'm like, I will go with you. But that is all I can promise. I can't promise anything beyond that. Mm -hmm. The spirit is filled with the happy memories you shared. But I actually know quite a bit about the Atlanta Falcons now. Like, um, I have apparently, you know, we have mixed feelings on Matt Ryan. You know, sometimes... We like Matt Ryan, but most of the time we think Matt Ryan is old and needs to go. I know that's our opinion on it. It's not necessarily my opinion on it, but it's our opinion on it. <laughs> We've got a watchtower, a rare steampunk small potted plant, some bleachers, and an archaeology table. And Julio Jones, I think, you know, Julio Jones, we went from loving him to now we're like, oh, whatever, he can go. So I don't know. I, I'm still saying I think that if Julio Jones goes, if all the hype I've heard is accurate, then it would be good for him to go someplace where they're not facing the same team. Like, you don't want to face, you don't want to trade Julio Jones and then have to face Julio Jones. That would be disappointing. But I don't really know how all that works. I don't know if, like, if you trade somebody in football, they can trade him somewhere else. I, I really don't know. But anyway. So I know that's, that's what I think of every time you mention Atlanta. So I'm sorry, but every time you mention Atlanta, I probably will talk about the Atlanta Falcons because that's all I know in Atlanta. I think I looked it up one time because I was trying to plan a trip there. And I thought, how fun would it be to go see? I think there was like a natural history museum there. Um, but one of these days, I really would love to go on a road trip all across the United States. And I want to go see all the sites. I want to go and take my daughter to um, uh, the Grand Canyon and Mount Rushmore and Niagara Falls and um you know all the really cool sites just so that we could just go there in the smithsonian i mean that would be amazing one of my best memories honestly i went to england when i was in my 20s <clears throat> and uh i spent some time in there and one of the things that i got to do was i got to go to the british museum and in the british museum you get to see um the Rosetta Stone, which until I had seen it in person, I had only seen little tiny pictures of it in um, books. Your city got top 10 in the nation? Is it, what is, is it top 10 just like overall for living? Sand sculpture, let's go there. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> Oh gosh, old people twitch. Let's see, sunflower seed. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, the Rosetta Stone, that's what I was talking about. So I always thought the Rosetta Stone was just like this little rock that they got that had all this writing on it. And when I stood in front of it, it was actually almost as tall as me because it was like, oh yeah, it's not a rock, it's part of a wall. 
And so it was just kind of, you know, really cool to see pieces of the Parthenon and everything else. I didn't get to tour the entire British Museum because at the time I was with somebody and they just were not a big fan of it. Um, but one of these days I would love to be able to go back and actually fully tour the British Museum and to go, one of my biggest dreams, I know this is so nerdy, but I want to go to Paris and spend a couple of days and go tour the Louvre. I think that would be amazing. I want to go see all the artwork. When I went to England, though, it was kind of, um, it wasn't that long after 9-11, and so we didn't go to Paris through the channel because there were threats of bombings in the channel, and I didn't want to be under... <laughs> I didn't want to be there if that was going on. <laughs> so, um, okay. Skulls tied to a stake. Three skulls tied to a stake. We've got this. It's probably the one that's right on the beach, I betcha. But we'll, we'll double check because if I go to that one first, it's not going to be that one. It's going to be something else or somewhere else. Let's see. Got a little bit of a hiccup tonight, too. But thankfully, it hasn't been like these loud hiccups that I get sometimes. It's just like little ones. <laughs> I really want that shelf. It looks expensive. it was this one yay all right uh, standee of Mayor Valentina let's see what we've got here okay there's the standee and there it is yay Oh, I know. I don't know why, but sometimes they're easy to overlook. Thank you. With these, she'll be the talk of the island. I really want to learn more about Francesca. I want to know, you know, um, some of her story that I'm still really wondering about is, you know, we know that Charlotte was looking for her and Charlotte found her and we know that um, Charlotte was alive but her sister wasn't so I want to find out what happened to her and we know that Francesca kind of ran away from home because we've got her mother but I just I really want to know what the full deal is with Francesca get my flowers really quick I'm trying to make this part of my daily. I don't know if it's better to make the flowers into the tins of dye or if it's better just to uh, sell the flowers to Mr. Kit. I'm going to sell these today though. I have to cough. I'm so sorry. Let's see. We're going to sell this and this and this and obviously all these there we go what oh darn it we have more to sell i want to sell these too that's right there we go all right we may as well check out what he's got he's definitely got this that we need to buy and then we've got a young spiny bird and a young moon bird a common gothic antique, a common farmhouse fence, a laboratory laboratory vault generator, an iron chair that sounded different than what I was what was actually pictured. I was thinking more like a throne. Um, a common log camp cabin lamp. I cannot speak tonight, so I apologize. Ooh, I love these irises. 
All right. <clears throat> In our desire to donate everything, I've kind of decided I'm going to buy every flower. Which is probably a little crazy. But I kind of want to do it. So we're going to see. I, I'm on a mission. I kind of feel like I really need to finish the flowers. It's a challenge. It's my personal challenge. We've got a young spirit bird here. That's pretty. Alright, and then we want to check out our clothes today. We've got a knit cap. A denim jacket. A medical mask. A witch hat, a tartan dress, a leaf cap, a baseball jersey, a plaid button button up, <laughs> a sunflower dress, and a flat cap. <laughs> we'll leave our horns on. They're pretty cute. And then our haircuts. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay. Take my money, Mr. Kit been waiting for this hairdo. Now that I have it, I feel like I look a little weird with it. Hang on, maybe I need to change out my glasses. Oh, okay, here's the look. Here you go. Seven more logs. Okay, so probably two days before I'm totally finished with it. Okay, let's burn these real quick. <laughs> I love her face when she's burning things. You know, she really does look pretty creepy right now. But, okay, let's look at our clothing collection. There we go. We'll wear a mysterious veil. Oops. Hang on, let's wear that. And, um, <laughs> a cardigan. A basic hoodie. A jean dress. Huh. Let's see, we've got our tied blouse. Where's our pretty little dress? Let's find, we've got a romper. A spooky t-shirt, um, a skirt and blouse, a ribbon uniform, that's our, this is actually our Sailor Scout uniform. Um, we've got our gothic dress, which actually is quite fitting, so I'm going to wear it for now, just because, just in case I can't find something better. Oh, that's actually cute too. Let's wear that. What is that? The cottage dress. Yeah, I think that's the winner. I've got a lot of weird clothes in here. Oh, that's my tinfoil cap. I love my tinfoil cap. That's pretty cool. Okay, there we go. Now we are decidedly less creepy. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe we're still creepy? I'm not sure, guys. It's quite possible we're still creepy but we're trying. Okay, put some more plants down. Look at all these happy plants. Happy little trees like Bob Ross. Oh, let's see, where did I drop all my stuff? Hmm. I don't remember. <laughs> Probably already picked it up. I'm gonna try to gather just a few more things. Oh, you know what? Let's go donate really quick. All right. Uh oh. Come on, mouse. Here. I can do this one. Oh, shoot. Come in. Dang it, mouse. Oh, goodness. Technical difficulties, guys. I'm so sorry. Let me try to see if I can get this to work. My dang mouse. It's my own fault. My old mouse died, and I've been borrowing my laptop mouse for a long time. So, I need to just actually get off my behind and go buy myself a new mouse. Here we go. 500 old coins. Thank you. 
And we are closer to our goal now. I kind of like these black cone flowers. They have a lovely gradient to them. So Bimo and Mindless, how are you guys doing tonight? Are you doing okay? I hope you didn't have a rough day of work. While I sell off my stuff at the end. Hopefully you were able to actually relax today a little bit. Well, I guess you were. Aww. I'm so sorry. I was just thinking, well, at least you guys got to play together. You were saying it was going to be rough this week. I'm so sorry. I played hooky today. I actually didn't go into work. An ancient candelabra. That is really nice. It's nice that you get to kind of unwind at the end of the day with each other. It's a good way to spend your time. It's very relaxing. I was supposed to go into work, but um, I had to help someone. Actually, I need those mushrooms, but I want to put everything else in here. I had to help someone uh, get to the doctor's. And then after I took them, I was like, well, you know, I've got to go volunteer at the Humane Society. So I went and I did that. And that takes a few hours. And then I was like, I just don't feel like going into work. So, um, oops. Uh, thankfully, because of the, the uh, situation, my boss is actually somebody that I um, used to be one of my peers. Dang it. I cannot get this dang bush. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm about to give up. I give up. That bush is just, it's beyond me. It's just going to remain untouched. It doesn't want its flowers picked. <laughs> um, but after I finished my shift at the Humane Society, I just kind of called her up and I'm like, hey, you know, I got things I need to do, so I'm just not going to come in. I don't like to do that, though, because I don't want to um, give her less than what I would give anybody else, just because she's somebody that I know. So I don't want to try not quite as hard, just because I know her and um, I could probably get away with it, but... I still want to try to do my best if I can for her. <laughs> oh no, and you couldn't get them? Oh goodness. That is pretty rough. I hate when that happens because then you're just kind of dancing around them trying to get access to the tree or the bush or whatever the heck it is you're trying to get access to. Also, it's kind of crazy, but I feel like every single night, these trees, I come out here and there's only one. And then later on in the night, I come out and there's a whole bunch more. So I really don't know what the respawn timer is for these trees, but I kind of feel like I should be paying more attention to it. Did you get some good trees at least? Hopefully you got like some really good, I don't know, I feel like the green gauge ones are kind of nice, but I'm almost kind of wondering because I haven't seen like a citron tree or one of the yellow trees in some time, so I'm kind of wondering, I wonder if the types of trees that you get are seasonal as well, and then what's going to happen in winter? Are they all going to be okay, or are they all going to die, or is it going to be like harvest moon? There's so many unknowns. I kind of can't wait to find out. There we go. Perfect. See, I think these are citrons. 
citrons and golden pawpaws and the granny smiths i like granny smiths i was telling i think it was paul last night it was like granny smiths are the best apples for making pies with i sound like an old granny when i say that but they really are they are the best pie or best apples for pies Okay. Here we go. Our last walnut tree. Oops. Shoot. Oh, I didn't even know this was up here. Oh, you got a raspberry bush. Yay! I don't know if they give cocoa beans yet or not. I keep meaning to pay attention and then I never do. Do I have a potato? I do not. <laughs> Here's the funny thing about Arjun, is he was just over here dancing with all these little imps. <laughs> He's just such a cute old man. I love him. Oh, I'm hoping he doesn't make me cry someday. And at the same time, I'm thinking he will. My goodness, look at all this. Okay. So I'm just curious. I know we burned quite a few um, pieces of fruit tonight. Let's see if we go into our storage and then put that. Oh, actually, let's put all this away. Put it in storage. So we've almost got three stacks of fruit right now. I know I made some with Allison earlier. I want to bake something, Allison. 27. Let's make another 15. Here you go. Thank you. Let's go check our... Our... Um, Mailbox, I guess, finally. Now that I clean mostly everything up. Oops. There we go. Oh, I guess I'll harvest that too. I didn't intend to, but. Which area? You mean Allison? I'll have to go check. Get all these, get all these presents. Discard. Let's go check it out. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm so glad you mentioned that. Let's see. Somewhat tidy, somewhat tidy. We're gonna ignore this little bit of trash right there. Um, let's see, she's only got two overflowing trash cans. Oh no, 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 she does have three. But, you know what? They're right next, they're not right next to the food. I almost said they're right next to the food. And this one is hidden. And this one is, you know, far enough away from the food that it's sanitary enough. And <laughs> this one, same thing. So I agree, she's doing good. And look at, there's only one beautiful pie on this booth table. So, uh, ooh, let's see really quick. I want to bake something. So we made all those fruit jams. Now, oh goodness, I guess we can make three. Okay. So we've only got three fruit tinctures on the way. We have five from yesterday. Let's go see how much money five will get us. Excuse me. Oops, come on. I want to sell stuff. Okay, wait. Just this one. 120,000 coins for five. That's pretty amazing. Okay. You know what? I have to hand it to Metal Ann. That's a lot of money. So now we're up to 200,000 again. Yeah. So I need more fruit trees. <laughs> 
Um, let's see. Okay, for the next upgrade, we're at 300,000 now. So, no thanks. Oh, and I don't know, because you guys fell asleep, but I upgraded my tent. So, now it's got this cute little, um, it's got this cute little emblem above it. And it does appear as if there is going to be some addition coming on, because there's this bundle of sticks and tarps. So, I'm excited to see what happens. I upgraded it twice yesterday. The first time, I feel like it was really unimpressive. And the second time, it was better because it added the, the Spirit Scout logo to the front and everything. But um, I didn't really notice what one of them did. It probably did something and I just wasn't paying enough attention to it. So we are well on our way, but I cannot believe we still don't have a fully upgraded tent. So, um, you know, I, I just... I have more space right now than I even know what to do with. Look at all this room that I've got. Oh, hang on. It helps if I actually stack things appropriately too, but I've definitely got to do something with all these. But I have just got so much room right now that I'm like, it's wonderful. It's fabulous. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I can feed one of my little... Oh, wait. Maybe I gave him away. Oh, dear. Well, so much for that. Golden berry. No, I'm going to click you. Nope. Let's feed you. Oh, dang it. Come on. There we go. Ooh, the next tent is the last tent. Okay. That'll be good. Then I can finally say I am, you know, semi-pro. Oh, dang it, do I not have all those roasted vegetables and I don't have any in my bag. <laughs> That's okay. Well, I think that we've pretty much finished up our dailies for tonight. And so, I guess, um, let's see, it didn't take us too long, only about an hour tonight. But, um... I just want to say thank you again for hanging out with me tonight. I appreciate it, guys. Um, it just means a lot, so thank you. But I hope you both have a wonderful night. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be able to catch your stream tomorrow a little bit more than I was able to today. But, oh wait, you're not streaming tomorrow. It'll be maybe the next day, I think. But um, I will catch you then. You guys have a good night.